Welcome to my continuation of the Tenchi Muya review. In the first video I've talked about the original OVA, now it's time I take a look at my favorite, Tenchi Universe. The first episode begins with a flashback of Tenchi first meeting Ryoko and tells him and his family her story how she came to Earth. It has been revealed that Tenchi's mother passed away. There's a scene where Ryoko is playing video games and that robot who is chasing Tenchi and Ryoko, well, it's Mihoshi who is after Ryoko. Surrender yourself, Space Pirate Ryoko! Your evil deeds end here and now! Second episode features, you guessed it, Ayaka. Also, about that cube Mihoshi uses. For the galaxy police, you turn it this way and that way and there! I can send out a distress signal now! We're in the boonies, kiddo. Can you really count on a toy like that? Ayaka arrives on Earth and bumps into Ryoko again, complete with flashbacks. I was playing in a flower field on a planet. So many flowers and so many colors, all in bloom. Oh, it was so pretty. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Huh? This planet is to ride royal family's territory! Just who gave you the permission to play around here? Then the two go at it in space and they crash land on Earth. Third episode introduces Sasami, who is searching for her sister Ayaka to take her home. And to top that off, Ria Oki appears, who loves nothing but carrots. You all know that already. Would you like this? <coughs> episode 4 is where Tenchi and Ryoko enter a cave where a goblin sleeps, while avoiding traps. and about to score till Ayaka, Mihoshi, and Sasami show up. They find the goblin, who happens to be Washu, the red-haired mad scientist who has been sealed for 700 years, even though Ryoko was the one who got sealed up in the original OVA. Not to mention, Washu brings out two puppets. The greatest scientific genius of the universe! You are Washu, you're the greatest! You are Washu, you're the genius! Washu, Plus, she turns both Ryoko and Ayaka into Kappas. <laughs> Episode 5 is where we see Kione, who first appeared in the Mihoshi special, also Mihoshi's partner. And Kione is one of my favorites. Washu remodels a new bathroom from a different dimension. That's awesome. Ryoko and Kione go into battle, and Ayaka traps her using Azaka and Kamadaki. Till Mihoshi screws it up. As soon as Kione and Mihoshi leave, the chief of the Galaxy Police wants them to stay on Earth. Of today, Mihoshi and Kione are assigned to Earth as officers in charge of the solar system area. That's all. No, oh, this can't be true. The personnel section chief was very happy we found qualified officers. Keep up your good work. Wow, this is great! I am so happy! Now we can stay on Earth! Aren't you happy? In Episode 6, Kione and Mihoshi are now living on Earth, working at part-time jobs. Problem is that Mihoshi messes things up. What did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? This is... not good. Yeah, you can tell that Kione doesn't like Mihoshi as a partner. What's the matter with you? Have you got a stomachache or something? No, I don't! There is a scene with Ryoko and Ayaka fighting over rice cracker, Kione Mihoshi in the bathhouse, and singing karaoke. Take me there to the place in my dreams. In my dreams! In my dreams! Again, sorry, I missed it. What's it called? Huh? It's commonly known as a sextant, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Could you spare the time to help us clear the table, please? Hmm? Were you saying something? All these first six episodes are loosely based on, again, the OVA. In one episode, Ryoko can duplicate herself. Ah. Gather round, gather round! Ladies and gentlemen, gather round! See what I've got here! Yeah? What? Oh, wow! What have you got there? 
We do see new characters like Mecha Washu, an android replica to his sister, by transferring her brain and personality. Instead, Mecha Washu seems to act like Mihoshi because of the piece of her hair that was in the transfer tube. Is it possible that the genetic data from this hair got imprinted into Mechanical Washu? Mecha Washu can fire her punch, shoots an energy beam, and brings out a spare body. She also has a power switch on the back of her neck. Wow! Wow! It's a great show! You are such a good girl! Now hold still for me, okay? Wow! 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 In the end, she begins to act like... Hmm? What? This must be... Well said. There is a bounty hunter named Nagi who is Ryoko's rival, and Kanoki who looks like Ryooki, only he's colored light beige, a gold diamond, and red eyes, and likes carrots. Nagi, on the other hand, did appear in a few episodes, but isn't seen a lot, and Kione seems to know her as well as Nagi. This is my jurisdiction, and bounty hunters must stay out of this area! Are you Kione? Hmm, you've heard of me. They say you're the best among the younger generation at the Galaxy Police. <gasps> There's a three-episode saga where Tenchi and the gang are going through a time and space adventure due to the girls messing up the Dimension Tuner, and it's up to Washu to fix it up. First we got Day Old Japan where Aeka is going to marry Tenchi, and the demon, known as Ryoko, is causing havoc. Here's a demon. Come on, right here. You are a demon, aren't you? Aika, you must calm down! You must be demoted! Second had Kione wanting a peaceful life in a port town till Mahoshi shows up. In another world, Sasami is something you see from Sailor Moon. The magical girl, Pretty Sammy! And Aika and Ryoko were about to kiss. I'm so happy. On to the third part. Mihoshi is Tenchi's wo- Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Mihoshi does not have a love interest to Tenchi, nor does Washu. In yet another world, Ryoko and Tenchi are like the Japanese Bonnie and Clyde, while Ayaka is a billionaire. In the end, Washu fixes up the Dimension Tuner, and the gang are back to their original world. Then there's a saga where Tenchi and the gang are wanted by the Galaxy Police and the Jirai military when Yosho returned, who will re be revealed sooner or later. Aika explains that Yosho is the best swordsman in the Empire and noble prince. Tenchi now must head to Jirai while wandering around in the galaxy. There's an episode where Tenchi and the gang are about to die of starvation while Ryoko is having the time of her life. <laughs> Another is that two slackers at the beef bowl joint have stolen the agami. And the episode ends with Ayaka and Sasami working for not paying. Yes, there is a swimsuit episode, and boy, is it getting hot in here! The next five episodes, they finally arrive in Jirai, also two knights known as, again, Azaka and Kamadaki, free themselves from their seal. Man, I'm starting to have a seizure looking at this. Katsuhito reveals himself as Yosho and tells them about his past and that Tenchi is a descendant of, Jir of the Jirai royal family. Now you want to know who the fake Yosho is, right? Well, it's Kagato who posed as Yosho. Now, Kagato looks quite different in the series, and I have heard that they fleshed him out more. Kagato and Yosho start dueling, except Yosho gets his ass handed. Same with Ryoko, and Ayaka ends up getting captured. Tenchi goes along with Ryoko, Azaka, and Kamigdaki to the Jirai Palace as they face off the knights, while Tenchi enters the showdown against Kagato. Ayaka somehow awakens her Jirai power, yet gets her ass kicked. In the end, Tenchi defeats Kagato and rescues Ayaka. 
In the last episode, Tenchi and company are proven they're innocent. Ayaka and Sasami are now free to become the royal family. Washu got elected as president of the Universal Science Academy. That is when she got kicked out. Kione and Mihoshi, back at the Galaxy Police, got a... a promotion! Ryoko? Well, as usual. As for Tenchi, he returns to Earth, back in school, and everything is back to normal. Only that Ryoko and the girls decide to come back to see Tenchi once again. You know the carnival comes and goes. If you wait for a while, it'll always come back to you, Tenchi. In conclusion, Tenchi Universe is great. It's been years since I've watched it, and it was a big task to revisit all 26 episodes. But don't go away. Tune in next time as I check out the first two movies.